Welcome to Dependable Flame, where we explore vintage petrol lighters, ashtrays, tobacchiana, and other useful mechanisms. Make yourself at home. Today we are going to try out what I believe is an old Dunhill Blue Flint in this vintage Firefly Flick semi-automatic petrol lighter. We have recently changed the wick out, put a Zippo copper woven wick in there. But we still don't have any real success with the lighter igniting. Lighter does have fuel in it. And we can jump it off of this butane lighter just to demonstrate that the lighter does have fuel. There you go. So obviously that should ignite much better than, well, there's finally one out of about six or seven strikes. So that is all we are trying to do here is to make this a usable lighter, which right now it really is not. So we will start by removing our flint spring screw. Which when we released the pressure from that flint spring screw, then the lid dropped open. So having that closed and tight is what keeps that pressure on there to keep that lid closed up against that file wheel. Now we pull the flint spring out and now not only do we have all four of our spare flints that the Firefly flick holds, but also the flint that we were using in it. So we are going to replace that with What I believe is an old Dunhill Blue. We will take a look at this real quick and just compare it with the brighter colored new Dunhill Blue Flint, which appear to me to be nothing special, where the old ones had a much superior shower of sparks. So we're going to drop in the unground end because the other end was a little bit crooked. We're going to replace our flint spring and now our flint spring screw. We will leave those spare flint out of there until we determine whether or not this lighter is going to function any better and whether or not we're going to have to be dumping any more flint out of there. So that is tightened all the way down. Snuffer down. Definitely may take us a moment here to get the flint groove properly. There we go. That's, I don't know, one out of about six turns of the wheel. Definitely should light more reliably than that. And there's two out of two. This Firefly Flick, as you can see here on the flint screw, was made by General Research Company of Buffalo, New York. One of the more cool aluminum block lighters that you are going to find. Okay, so you saw it not light up there once, but then light on the next turn, so that makes three out of the last four. A 
Now we're up to three out of the last six. There's four out of seven. So it does seem as though this might have improved our ignition a little bit. I have wondered, just like some of the conversations that we have had on other videos about whether or not some of you might see the answer as stretching the spring or adding another flint to the tube, increasing pressure. And I'm not saying that either one of those are not legitimate options for somebody looking to make their vintage petrol lighter operate more reliably than it currently is. It's just something that, as we have talked about in the past, I've never done because I'm not going to explain that in an eBay listing where somebody is determining whether they want to buy the lighter. I'm not going to tell them that it is a reliable working lighter, but that you have to put two flints in it or occasionally stretch the spring. Now, I will say that occasionally stretching out a spring, that may be a legitimate thing with old lighters simply because I do think that there is something to the fact of old springs losing tension. Now, whether or not they lose tension because they are coiled up or because they are left in an extended disposition, that may be an argument for another time because I do think that that is where some of our viewers would have a difference in opinion as to what actually makes those springs weaker. I think it is possible that a spring being stretched over time may weaken it more than it being recoiled, but again, I'm not an engineer, just a guy who's not afraid to try a few things, have a little bit of a mechanical background, working in a machine shop when I was a young man and working on countless old cars with my father when I was a young boy and adolescent but so far so good I will use this one around the headquarters here a bit this Dunhill blue flint definitely improved our ignition rate and we will just see whether it makes this lighter a usable lighter over time until next time.